The line segment shown represents side MN of an isosceles triangle MNP. So let's just throw P randomly over here, where side MP is congruent to side NP. The perimeter of this triangle is 14 square root of 13. So I just add this and these two sides that are equal to get that value. What is the length in units of MP? Well, I think we do have direction here because we can use the coordinate plane to go ahead and solve for MN, right? I could kind of make this into a triangle and I could say, well, the base of this triangle is four and the height of this triangle, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I could say, okay, four squared is 16 plus six squared, which is 36. That's going to get us 52. So my hypotenuse here is going to be square root of 52. And then we know that NP and MP are equal to each other. So we could call each of those maybe something like this side is X and this side is X. So then my final equation for my perimeter is square root of 52 plus 2X is going to be equal to 14 square root of 13. And you know straight where I'm typing that equation. I jump in here and I go square root of 52 plus 2X is equal to um, 14 square root of 13. And immediately I can zoom out to see if there's extra solutions. There's almost always just going to be one here. I get something like 21.63. And then I just go through my answer choices and I type those until I get a decimal that matches. What's nice is I only have to change this number to go through my answers. And it looks like my answer is going to be 6 square root of 13 or number or letter choice C here.